All right, y'all, we're here. We made it. How are you today? So good to see everybody. Can you hear us okay? Because I know you can. I have a big mouth. So, <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. Yep. We're representing Critter Creek today. Yep. And Gillum Farms because you know I know why. April 26th, 27th, and 28th, it's a 10 killer meetup. Yep. And they're the host. Hostesses with the mostesses. Gillum Farm. I can't say I ain't got one of those because I do. So let's say hi. Dave Butler's here. Joe Fix It for you. Neil at Treasure Hunter Neil. What's up, Neil? There's Barb. Jesus oh, is hi, Lord. Dave. Oh, there's Gillum Farms right there. This one says seven. No, you're on time. You're right on time. I'm always six o'clock Friday. Oh, there's a Gillum's. Look at that. <laughs> we have a church group over this evening, so won't be able to watch. Okay, that's okay. Thank you for the thumbs up. There's our Freedom Redbird. Hello. We love you. We love you. So up, good Brenda? to see you. Hope you're doing well. There's Tamron David at Heart Heartland HQ with Dink and Tank. Good to see you. Hope you all have had a blessed day. And there's Tina at Rainy Ridge. Milk and Honey Heritage Farm. Hi, Heather. I know. I don't know what to do when you can make it, Dave. It's awesome. There's Teresa. Jaguitz. Barb at Ben's Over Acres. Hunting and stuff. I think that's John. Is that John? There's Ralph. Hi, Ralph. Oh, Ralph, we need to get you out of there. We're going to have to break you out of the hospital. There's Debbie. And Debbie Drock, Virginia Alexander, Hovita. Hi, Hi, Hovita. Awesome. We, we have 16 people. Everyone's probably still eating. Oh, yeah, we definitely want to keep Brenda in our prayers um, with the loss of her husband. And uh, Charles at Fallen Arkansas Veterans. He's uh, in a hospice right now with care for pain. And, oh, there's so many people that need our prayers, y'all. Just pray because, oh, John's a different guy. Why can't I ever get your name right then? <laughs> there's Beth. Hi, Beth. Cindy Squirrel's here. Hello. Happy Friday. Ooh, I had hey, to go, go get some more... Uh, compost today and uh, I got a whole truck I, they give you a scoop and I only used half of it because we got a new raised bed video coming soon on that one and it's awesome and I got to plant all the onion sets and I had to use two raised beds to do that so so good to get those in my fingernails are still dirty so there's that. <laughs> so, so are mine. Yeah, it's mine. Oh, and then we got to use the rest of the compost for the other raised beds by our shop, our wooden ones that I stained. So, uh, okay, he just walked in the door. Hello, Neil. What's up, Neil? <laughs> uh, there's Linda, Linda, Linda. How are hey, you, Linda. sweetheart? L&M Country Living's here. Hi, Lou. Hi, Em. So, yeah, man. so it's been a busy day. It's been an actually busy week. There's making it home, sliding in and taking your seat. <laughs> Sound like Xander. <laughs> uh, yep. So, uh, Melba so and Johnny, hi. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, y'all, please. And there's our Scott at Rambling with the Brooms. He's got. He's in the house. In the house. Yep. So we did fill up our topped off and fertilized our two raised beds that I stained and got yeah, that done. The ones that are like three and a half foot high. Yeah. Yeah. He built them so I didn't have to bend over as any sweetheart. He did. Yeah. Okay. I wish we had a lot more of those. I like it. We Oh, and let's pray for Ralph. Yes, please. Everyone pray for Ralph. He's a good guy. So, yeah, been a busy week. There's Tim Beverly. What's up? Baby face. You uh, look for. <laughs> I don't have a baby, baby face right now. I'm, I am kind of scruffy, actually. 
Tim? Yeah, he goes scruff on the weekends. I go, well, I go, I go scruff like I try to shave like uh, once every five days or so. That's it? Yeah. I like shave that. more than that. I'm nah. trying to clean my nails, but they're not coming Every four, clean. twice a week at the moment. Sliding most. into home plate. There's Kelly, Rebel at Heart. Hi. Hey, Kelly. How you doing, Kelly? Dot Roper, Sammy with Goat Days. Can't wait to meet y'all. So, yeah, don't forget April 26th, 27th, and 28th. Sammy and David from Goat Days, they're going to be camping with us one day because Sammy's a snowflake and she can only do it one night. <laughs> I love you. I'm just kidding. Well, look at here, Brett. I cut my nails to clean them. I believe that, Brett. And then you probably take a brush and clean your cuticles. <laughs> We're so excited, too. So many people will be there that I haven't got to meet. Making it home, you guys. Um, Virginia, did you say you were coming? Yeah, there are so many people. I And it's so fun at meetups. And then don't forget the Ozark YouTube meetup. May 10th, 11th, and 12th. I had to think about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's going to be so fun, so laid back. We'll probably do a, a lot of fishing because, you know, we'd like to fish. Well, some barbecuing. And barbecuing and hanging out. Yeah. Um, there, There's a lot of new channels coming and a lot of our old friends that will be there. And I'm so excited about that. Oh, darn. I thought for some reason you said you were going to be able to make it. Last year, the 10 Killer Meetup was fantastic it was amazing it was so i so fun i expect it to be yeah pretty much like last year and yeah yeah it was a good time oh yeah real good time that was that your first meetup that you went to uh well first major one we did i went to uh oh we went to the missouri one that wendy put on yeah but like uh i taught fermenting yeah first real big one yeah but we had a good time. Uh, we stayed in a little cottage, and it was it was fun. It was great. Met some channels that we had never met before there either. So and subscribers, and that's a cool thing, y'all. It's just not for YouTube. We just tag it that way, you know, because that's what we do. <laughs> so. Yeah, there was there was a lot of. A lot of people that were that didn't have a YouTube channel that almost just, homesteading just, Janet that just, alone that it, that came so yeah lots you know, of subscribers so there's lots of subscribers that well at least a few that were subscribers that we met and there might have been more that we didn't end up you know there was there was a lot of people there I don't even know how many there was 300, oh, yeah. 400? Uh, I two, that one two three hundred there was that a lot. Ten pillar there, yeah, there was it was packed. Yeah, got to meet Scott last year at Rambling with the Brooms. There's Troy. Hello, Troy. Uh anyway, Troy, did you get my message about the elderberries to plant them three to six feet apart, preferably six? Because they do get big. So um you definitely want to. Hey Christy. No notifications. I, that happens to me. I know someone's coming live and I'll look on my home at homepage. I can't find them. I have to type in the channel like Ginger, not for nothing. Once in a blue moon, she pops up and I'm like, this is crazy. It's so frustrating. I don't know what YouTube's doing, you know, but they do their shenanigans. Oh, there's my cohort right there. The Backwoods Misfit. He is one of the sponsors of the Ozark YouTube meetup. Yeah, that's Steven, y'all. And he's awesome. I love him. He's a great guy. And uh, it, we just have such a good time. Good, up, good Steven? time. Say, so, sup, Steven. What's up, Steven? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, have y'all started gardening yet? Okay, Troy, sounds good. Henry Leslie, Vermont, hello. So great to see you. Is anybody in Arkansas or Missouri or Oklahoma or along that 
lateral line been brave enough to put any tomatoes in yet? Yeah. That's a question. Has anybody, Plant has inside, anybody done that yet? In the garden in pots. Cool. Yeah, with the rums. Uh, so Jan plant my other berry plant six feet. Yep. Yeah, six feet apart. And they they can you have our frost Lord date is May 10th, Debbie's is so Ugh. obviously not her. See, ours was like the end of May. No, not the end of last May. year. No, it's end of April. No. April 26th is what it was. But last that year. means May. You always give it well, an right. extra we, week. Hey, Cindy. Our last frost High date was not in the storms. end of May, Jan. Oh, okay. Well, in my world, See, it was. I got to correct her all the time. It'd be like it would be the end of May last year. It'd be April 15th this year. Yeah. Come on. No, it was like April 26th. I didn't, last plant, year. I didn't plant until. Almost the middle of May, dear. Right. That's what I mean. Well, what? Well, well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, but I'm just setting the record straight that was, there. No, not me, boss. No, no, not us either. We're going to. Well, I, said, I've worked too hard to get. This is the first year I've got huge tomato plants. Starts. Starts. I did it all by myself. Yeah. And, and you know what the secret was? I put alfalfa pellets in the soil. Who told you about that? Um, I asked on Grow Big TV, one of his guests, and he said, absolutely. Anything that needs nitrogen, alfalfa pellets. So, so yeah, we've been putting But that. I put it in everything. We've been putting, we've been putting it in. You know, I mean, everything. everywhere. My peppers, my tomatoes. I go Mother's Day weekend, boss man. Mother's Day weekend. Ah, uh, Judy Jules bringing in tons of tomatoes and pepper starts today. None in the ground yet, but likely will this weekend. Cool. Wait. Okay, where's Butt Nuggets at again? Arkansas. Yeah, yeah okay. Brett. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. Brett and Deborah. Okay, yeah, Brett and Deborah. Okay, so they're, they're going in the ground this weekend. We thought about it. But, I'm sort of scared. Hey, Carla, Texas lady, how's it going? Well, they say you want your soil to be 60 degrees. The soil needs to be 60 degrees. You read that? I don't know if we're there yet. Well, you rabbit said, poop rules. Oh, I wish you I said that last rabbits. year. But we, we were always just going like to wait until since we've been here, we've been at least May, at least May 1st. Yeah. First, you know, first weekend in May or later. Yeah. That's what we've been doing because hey, Critter Creek, the last. The last, Check frost, it out. the last frost date has seemed to have been, you know, late April until this year. Now the last frost date is April 15th. April 15th. But, yeah. And it's been an unusually, it's been warm, but okay, we've had some so, cold nights too. So Yeah, it was cold yesterday, but now. In the morning. Now I'm trying. It was 39 this morning too, so well, it I was wanna... still a little cool this morning. So we're looking at 49 this morning coming up. And then 60s and 50s. At night. 38. What day Those is are that? the low. These are the low. Next Friday, 40, 44. These Those are the, are the lows. But if you put the ground cover on, or not the ground cover, the row cover, they should be okay. And I'm planting them deep. But we have some 80, we have some 80 degree days ooh. in a row. We're going to have like three or four of them in a row and then some yeah. 70 degree days. So. Yeah. I might actually well, we still want to. Uh, we don't on. know we want to do it yet. Maybe we just still wait till May. I just don't want anything to happen to them. I've worked yeah. so hard. Yeah. I have three varieties of tomatoes outside, and they're doing great. Really? Hmm. Well, you're very extremely similar to our weather, Lauren. So. Yeah, but she's still a little south of us. Well, yeah. Um, but she already bit the bullet and did it. So alfalfa. I, we were thinking about it. Yeah. We've been thinking about it. But Dave said, oops, sorry. We've been we dropping didn't... into low 30s here. I've been scared. To, yeah. That's uh -oh. kind of what we were thinking, too. Because, you know, as soon as you do, it's going to, like, get so cold one week. And that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> He's oh, well, like not in ground yet. Right. Forgot it's still April. Uh, dig it. Yeah. Yeah. We're. Oh, okay, Brett. We'll probably just we'll probably just wait till the first weekend of May just to cover our butts. At the end of April. 
or end of April, whatever. Yeah. Maybe we haven't done it before May 1st yet. We have not put. Yeah. In the we ground both yet. know not to use our superpowers for evil. Dave. <laughs> I didn't even see what you said, Dave, when you said, oops, I, I knew it had to be something wrong. <laughs> 60 degrees and raining here. Snow. Me, oh. Oh. I would not want to be in Vermont for, I love, well, Vermont is beautiful, but that snow, <laughs> big storms are coming for central U.S. and Miss, Mississippi Valley this week. Yeah. Well, I didn't see any. Let me see. Let me go back to the, I'm looking on the weather, AccuWeather. A lot of wind Tuesday, showing wind things. Thursday, rain. Uh, next Wednesday, or Tuesday, next Wednesday, some rain. And Friday. So I guess we're not getting those. I don't know. I, you know, rain don't bother me. Storms don't bother me. Hey, Karen, what's up? I Brook Trout, hi. Good to see you. Should try those pellets. Our garden is going good, but could always do better. Well, remember, it's a high nitrogen. So if plants don't like high nitrogen, don't. Hey, Gandalf, how are you, my brother? Well, all of them need nitrogen to grow. Yeah, you need some. So, but. yeah. Bill. There's Bill. That's right. Gandalf is Bill. Hovita, she's in South Texas, so she's yeah, she's good to go. Oh, yeah. They're already rocking it. You're 75. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. We almost did the live outside. It's a little. There's a little cool breeze, though. But someone was being a snowflake. Actually, I only had three minutes, so I didn't want to make y'all wait forever. But, yeah, there's Adrian, Indiana Backyard Gardener. Did y'all hit the thumbs up for me? Remlin, the remaining remnant. Hi. Slaps milk and honey on the way in, looking around like a angel waves. <laughs> Hello, trouble. Hello, trouble to you. I need to go drown a worm Monday morning ahead of the front. Huh? Who said that? Making it home. You got need to drown. Go out. fishing. Oh, do you now? Do I <laughs> yeah, I, did. I didn't get it at all. Yeah. Well, I imagine we'll go fishing um, maybe tomorrow or Sunday. Sunday usually ends up being our fishing day. And uh, I'd like I it don't. It be both days, but. Yeah, sometimes we go both days. I, I really want to do some night crappie fishing so we might do that tomorrow because you know oh butt nuggets that's eggs out of the chicken butt and that's how he got it because why don't you let him explain it well it's easier if i say it than him type it oh okay but he probably will type it because i I know Brett pretty well <laughs> so you got it. Got thank it. you for putting links up y'all your awesomeness Thank you so much. Guy, a guy at work calls them chicken bullets. Chicken bullets. Yeah, hey, chicken, Heather. Chicken bullets. Got um, any ammo? It is. It's been so windy, and it just calmed down right before the live. So no beer, boss. Yeah, he's he's having an adult beverage yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just one. <laughs> yeah, I'm having one. Uh, Hold that. Yeah, the wind's been awful this down. whole week. Like, <laughs> For like a week straight, it's been like every day. Oh, it's been just horrendous. Sucks when you're up on a lift too, and the wind's blowing like that. You're actually not supposed to be on when it's, Dave. If it's past like twenty-eight miles an hour, so it's twenty-seven miles an hour, or something like that. I know. I didn't think what that was, Carla. Drown a worm because <laughs> we don't usually use worms, so. <laughs> Maybe a plastic worm. Maybe. Well, it could be. We use but those. We, they won't drown. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, so uh, there's Tracy at TNT Adventures. How you Hi, doing, Angie. my friend? Uh, 
it's cold here in PA. Yeah, my mom was from Pennsylvania, and it gets cold there. So cold. It ain't that, but it's warm enough, though. It's still spring. It's getting to be spring. Mm. What? Whoa. That was fast for me that had a Georgia doctoring ad. Oh, you had an ad? I wondered if y'all were getting those. Hmm. Wind is whipping today. Yeah. It what to see. I, I was going to go yesterday <laughs> and get the compost, but it was so cold and windy. And then I'm like, I ain't doing it. And then, uh, the guy, uh, what's his name? Cold. Mike, Mike yeah. at the farm store. Yeah. It was cold yesterday. Oh, I needed my hoodie. Fifties. It was cold. That's cold. Anyway, he told me this guy came and he got a load of wood chips and uh, black licorice. That is great for fishing. Really? Why would well, I waste they, it on fish? I use that that, scent, that kind of scent in uh, soft plastic baits. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, it's black. It's liquor. It's uh, liquor scent. Oh, yeah. See, I'm learning some, something on my some, own. Some companies use it. Yeah. Oh, I love black licorice. I love it. Terrible. Mmm, so good. Real black licorice, not the gross, not the Twizzler black. That's not real. Only red licorice for this guy. Yeah. Or yeah. banana but, or what? Watermelon. What we had that watermelon licorice was really. Oh, good. that was really good. Yeah, but, we got that at the farm store. That but, was so yeah, good. No black licorice for this fella. I eat it. At, the, at the Amish store, they have it, and it's real black licorice. So my son-in-law and I both love it. And he he's like, Jan, Jan, look. And I'm like, okay, let's buy it. <laughs> Gross. Oh, it's so good. No, no. Never caught anything with salmon eggs. <laughs> I guess not bread. <laughs> no, yeah, well, salmon eggs, there's people that use How salmon do you eggs. fish with those? They're so tiny. You use a tiny hook. You that's what a lot of people do for trout. Uh, Adrian. <laughs> I do too, Tracy, man. It's the shiznits. See what I did there, girls? My little group there, should they know? It's the shiznits. Yep. Black, <laughs> yeah, black licorice is. Yeah. And I, Been like a hurricane. Oh, oh yeah, Debbie. I know. It, it's hey, Jan ridiculous. and better half cabin. Oh, you, per, you just. Might have, started, might have started some crap. I might have to put up with that later. Yep. So you know who the boss is. I am. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Chocolate liquors. Never had that. I have not had chocolate liquors either. But it, I bet it's pretty good. I just, I like chocolate and. But no, it's like, I like liquor. We know, Brad. <laughs> so true. <laughs> no, Chrissy. Stephen, Chrissy you, can't eat the black licorice either. Really? Oh, my dad and I used to get that and the red licorice, the little squares. And he, he's the one who got me into it. And I was like, ew, that's gross. I don't want to eat it. And he's like, just taste the damn thing. And I said, okay. So I did. And I'm like, oh, that's good. <laughs> Steven, you have to say, Linda, Linda, Linda. Hello. <laughs> that's how you that's how you say hi to Linda. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, what oh I didn't see Tony. I saw Angie in here. Tony's there. Where did I just pass him up? I don't know. Why well, are you somebody saying? saying hi to Tony and Angie? Troy is saying hi to. Oh, Tony. maybe because he, he saw Angie. Tony's probably feeding the pigs or something. He's probably working. She slaps, whips, the, cracks the whip. Yeah, whips the crack. <laughs> she might do that too. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that was bad. <laughs> I can't eat black. I can't eat the black liquor. Okay, that's where. Okay. Yeah, that's where I left off. I had to Sorry. go back up because I missed something. Heather's like, I can't eat. Finally the black. home! Yay, yeah, Sammy! I'm, let I'm, the weekend begin. I hope I'm you with you, Heather. Work. Can't do the black liquor either. I hope you don't have to work tomorrow, Sammy. I'll get a break. I'll. Uh, it'll make me sit, uh, like 
You used to use Velveeta Re cheese. Real licorice is hard to find. You, Beth, you must like really like black licorice too. It is hard to find. They sell it at the Amish store. So yeah. next time you guys come, Beth, we'll scoot on over there. And it is so good. So, so good. And it's not expensive. You, you can catch get... salmon with salmon eggs in the fall. Shut the front door. Don't worry about it, Evelyn. Oh, no there's Evelyn. Hi. Don't worry about it. You know you ain't late. Yeah, no, no one ever no, late. No one's late for this, well, unless for Steve, this show. Steve and I might give a hard time, too. There's Wanda Henry. Uh, Stephen is not allowed to be late, but he is. On the time. Real licorice is good. Fake chemical licorice is not. No, it's nasty. It tastes well, like maybe wax. I've never had real black licorice. Well, you should have tasted what we bought. Oh, I've never liked black licorice at all. So, and I remember one time I, I got a somebody gave me a piece of blackjack gum, mm -hmm. and I just about barfed. Took one chomp into it and was like. <laughs> Oh dear. Everyone's saying hi to everybody. Linda, Linda, Linda says you have a group of salmon egg, eggs together. It catches fish like black licorice and chocolate licorice. That's good. So, what else did you do today, Jan? You planted all the onions, didn't you? Yeah, I went and got soil and then uh, came home and unloaded it and um i was still at work at got time. lost in the garden and then i was like oh i better get supper on and yesterday we had manwiches but i forgot i was making manwiches and he really wanted them sloppy joe's manwich yeah and so i had fixed the chicken and some parmesan chicken and some parmesan potatoes and um uh, then I opened the refrigerator and I saw the hamburger in there and I was from, we got it from Jerry at Butler family farm, shameless plug. And it's so good. But anyway, I was like, Oh no, I forgot the boss wanted to have man wedges. And I knew his heart. He even bought the buns for it. But buns. So, I, bought the, I bought the man, which bold. Yeah. And the pickles and you know, so. yeah. So I was like planning on her making, uh sloppy joes yeah so yeah i love i like i like uh the bold manwich i like the joes. other one better no way i like the other one yeah we uh, did a can canned food uh-huh except for the hamburger and that what was else do we have i don't remember oh yeah them taters parmesan yeah potatoes. parmesan potatoes yeah yeah yeah, so it was good. But tonight I just, oh, I already had the chicken in the roaster, stuck it in the oven. TGIF, Henry. Enjoy it all. Oh, thank God it's Friday. I know. I yeah. know. It's always good when Friday comes. Yes. And, you know, basically, even though I work on the farm, it, every day is Friday for me. So. <laughs> We had a mint farm growing up, and we always had mint candy around. Ooh. Well, when we moved here, we had a four-foot high, that front garden that we redid, put the stone on. It was at least four feet high. It was huge. I, I, All mint. I sent that mint to a friend in California because I, I pulled every bit of it out. And then it smelled the, good though. I'll yeah, it smelled wonderful. But it was taken over. It it was like a jungle. So I sent it to my friend in California, what I she wanted, and then the rest of it. Um I didn't even dehydrate it. I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I I might have dehydrated some, but if yeah, I did, was, I have no idea growing. where it is. It was awful. And um uh, it, you know, it's supposed to be a good deterrent for bugs, but it didn't deter anything here. I'm just saying. So, well, I'm sure it deterred. I'm sure it deterred. Some. Sure it deterred some. Our black licorice tastes like black accident. <laughs> Whose birthday is it? Who'd I miss? Oh, yeah, Stephen, he had a birthday. I ain't singing, though. I ain't doing it. 
wasn't it yesterday? Well, Linda Brenda was in here earlier. You know, you she, always sing happy birthday to people. I know, but and annoy the crap out. Hey, of them. Carol, I know, but I I'm just too tired to do it. Brenda's hanging in there, Linda. Thank you for asking. You know, mm. there ain't nothing easy about losing a spouse. So we're in the Upper Peninsula. Upper Peninsula. UP Road. I'm guessing like that's what UP means. Republic. That's get, isn't that Michigan? Yeah, so I'm I'm guessing that's where Brooke Trout is talking about is Michigan. Oh, we're in Missouri. Yeah, I but was, there's a town very close to us called the Republic. So it's funny. Oh that, yeah. So it's funny that yeah. you, you say that. But yeah, I'm I'm would guess that UP means Upper Peninsula. Yeah. Well. Let's get back to Brenda. You know, there's so many legalities that out. you have to see to. And, uh, oh, okay, Sammy. So many, you know, there's just things you got to get done, you know. So that's what she's working on. And then people coming and going and giving their condolences. And so, but she's, she's a tough broad. She'll be okay. She's going to be okay. And uh, I usually text her every night and or I call her and just check in on her because she's like a sister to me. So, oh, anyway, P and J, how y'all doing? There's Tony. My butt is all chapped from her whipping me with that whip. <laughs> oh, and Kevin just walked out. Dang it. <laughs> oh, everyone's gagging on the licorice <laughs> well was it real liquid licorice or was it twizzlers because that is not real okay so let's talk about this bread Velveeta cheese for trout does it stay on the hook well or do you go through a whole brick of it I i'm curious i'm very curious about that what Nibbets, black licorice is great. I, is it real? I, I don't recognize the name, but, uh, that's, is it real? Linda, Linda, Linda. <laughs> oh, goodness. Tina, Rainy Ridge, did I miss your live again? Fletcher's Castoria. <laughs> Barb. I hope I didn't because I missed Jerry's Butler Family's Farms Live. I had it set and I totally missed it. I don't know, remember what I was doing. Thank you, Heather. That's so sweet. Thank you, everyone. Um, I No, I have not grown eucalyptus, Wanda. I um, probably should try because I love the smell. Matter of fact, when we went to Hawaii, to Maui, um, they had the eucalyptus trees, and uh, they were breathtaking, just breathtaking. Tony said his butt is chapped from the whip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tiffany. You're yeah. not late, girl. You talking about good. Rainbow, the rainbow eucalyptus trees? In yes. Hawaii? Oh, my goodness. We pulled yeah, over. They're yeah, they're pretty. We took our life into our own hands and pulled over. They were so gorgeous. Oh, wow. yeah. You're talking about on the road to, on that road through the jungle? To there? Hanai. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. I can remember that kind of stuff. Linda is mine, so I'm spoken for. Sorry, <laughs> Dave. Don't let the boss cook for you. <laughs> you know, when he wants to, he's pretty good at it. He's pretty good at it. There's Tammy, a mountain grandma. Hi. Mm -mm. So, my video is coming out Sunday, I believe, Tammy, just to let you know. Yeah, and it's what, on there. What video? 
the video I mail call video I did. Oh, yeah, I had like three awesome packages. One came the day before, which was Tammy's, and then I had another one, and then I had another one. I'm like, whoa, so cool! You went to talk to them today? No, no, I they had them send it here. Oh, okay. Well, that one thing beside you over there. And then the other thing oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that I got. And then Tammy's gift. It was so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Uh, so, you guys, uh, our mint was distilled and sold to Colgate, Colgate Palmolive. Oh, interesting. Dave, where I live, they had little candy stores. Three pieces of candy for one cent. Big cookies and pickles sold out of jars, 10 cent. Toys and the merry-go-round, 10 cent comics. Yep. Yeah, we had a Benjamin Franklin. Ben Franklin's? Yeah. And I remember was, those stores. It was like that you can go in and, you know, you get a whole bag for a dollar. Remember and, J.C. Penney's? Is that still around? That ain't around anymore, is it? I don't know. The, uh, it might be like Kmart. Some Kmarts are still open. I don't know. Yeah, we had a Ben Might Franklin. Be like that. Yeah. Had a couple of them in nearby mm -hmm. towns where I grew up. Yeah. There's Rick at Twinbrook Acres. How you doing, Rick? You guys got to watch Rick's channel. I put it on my community page. He's doing this antique tool series. And I am a geek for antique tools because that's what my dad had. Like the hand drill and the the saws and the levels and oh god i can't even remember what all you've done so far rick but i watch them they used to just use a hose and water level a hose yeah use like a long clear hose you can make a, oh oh a water yeah level. yeah use a water level yeah i think that's what you usually what the amish use is a water level Oh, oh yeah, the water. Okay, yeah, now I know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, water always finds yeah. some level. Yeah. So, you. I mean, it's pretty accurate. I mean, it's as accurate as I anything. Said hi to Karen, as accurate right? as anything. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's it's cool. I like it. So. Um, Is UP of Wisconsin? Okay, I guess I was wrong about that. Oh, I didn't even see that. You caught that one. Good one guy. more button up maybe oh this i don't know why the pointer doesn't bring it up yeah it said something about wisconsin okay oh whenever i think of up i always think of the upper peninsula of michigan Mich i think of michigan or whatever i don't know why but huh this up of wisconsin also upper p is <laughs> you're UP welcome Beth. <laughs> she said thanks for not singing that'll be my press present <laughs> tammy can sing there's colby hey hey there is freedom redbird oh there's our girl y'all can say hi to brenda now that everyone was asking how you were doing brenda uppers i'm a lopper i can, i have such a hard time seeing this i'm a lopper oh god i just hit the button in all the comments i'm i'm pro i you know i hate being behind on comments but tonight is an exception i suppose i don't want to miss anyone because last week someone came in and uh armida and i totally missed her until she was saying goodbye and i'm like oh no i don't want to miss her oh anyway upper p Ah, oh, did it again. Okay, let me go back. Don't go back. Yeah, I know. There we go. I need one of those. I have a wireless mouse somewhere. I need to put that. Is up of Wisconsin also? Yeah, well, I, yeah. I remember I read that. Yeah. Things. Okay, that'll be okay. Got it. You would pass that. Yeah, Colby. Hi, Freedom Redbird's back. Everyone say hi. <laughs> <laughs> I 
and then Tamara and uh, Tara and Jason are traveling to uh, Georgia to see her daddy because he's having surgery. So I I don't know if they're there or not. I probably should text them and ask or call. But uh, anyway, Dave, I forgot it's your birthday. Every day is Dave's birthday, so everyone wish Dave a happy birthday. I have a husband, but we don't do ownership. LOL, mutual respect. <laughs> What's ownership? Like how I own you. Like I'm your master. Oh, God. Come here and let me slap you, silly. <laughs> mm -hmm. We ain't going to even go there because y'all don't want to see uh, him get hurt. Uh, I love messing with her. It stays on the hook. It does stay on the hook. Okay. No, he's my best friend and my, my partner. I'm sort of fond of him. I don't know why. <laughs> but when a man tells you he's a jerk, believe it. <laughs> uh, That's not what I said. I'm at my aunt's house. David Potter doing yard work. Oh, he's such a good guy, David. How you doing? Good nephew. Yeah. No, it's tomorrow. Oh, well, oh, good. Yay, I didn't miss it. Okay, okay, cool. Tomorrow at 7. All right. Sweet. Okay. I was thinking, I don't know why I thought I missed it. I was like, oh, no, not again. <laughs> I don't like missing my friend's lies. I miss Jerry's live too. I'll rewatch it. Well, I went over there. I think I said hi. And uh, eucalyptus burns. Hey, Jonesy. Oh, really bad. But it sense. smells so good when you try it out. How you doing, Jonesy? I hear you, Bruce. Let's see. Jan, you were probably sleeping. No, Tony, no, I was awake. <laughs> it was nighttime. Oh, I know. He wanted to watch a movie. That's what it was. It's all the boss's fault. I'm going to blame it all on Kevin. <laughs> we ate spaghetti, asparagus, <laughs> asparagus from the tiny farm. Oh, yes. Oh, you know what I like, Brett? It's fresh off the plant. It is so good. And I okra the same way, fresh off the plant. Oh my gosh. Totally different flavor. It's so delicious. Hey, my wild home. How are you, Melody and Ryan? Good to see you. So good to see you. That's another live I, I miss all the time. For I, I think it's on the homestead thingy on Thursdays, right? Or when, maybe it's Wednesday. I I can't remember. I try to make it, though. But I haven't been faithful about it. Forgive me. <laughs> Dave, that's Brenda. You know her name. <laughs> okay, welcome back, Tiffany. I love just going in the garden. And, like, I won't eat my big tomatoes or anything, but, like, green beans and your oh, broccoli and your carrots and radishes and lettuce and spinach, all the things, you know. We have one wild asparagus right by the road and, you know, coming into our property. And, you know, it, it only, from what I understand, it only produces every other year or so. I didn't see, maybe there was one stock on it last year, but it was gigantic. I mean, really big. So I have, I had a pack of seeds and I put it all along our back fence line where the sheep are. And hopefully next year I'll see it pop up. I don't, I buried, I, you know, I covered it lightly because I didn't want the chickens to eat the seeds because they forage over there too. Anyway, I I love we both love asparagus and Brussels sprouts. 
Mm. So good. I don't eat Brussels sprouts raw, but I bet they'd be good. I bet they'd be real, real good. Let's see. The Benjamin Franklin was across the street from the candy store. Well, yeah, and then you could buy bags there. So you could put your candy. <laughs> no, we had that. Remember the um, taffy? Uh, well, I am a major taffy freak. I love taffy, taffy and caramel. Caramel, however you want to say it. I call it caramel. And they had the best taffy, little rounds. And then the bullseyes with the caramel and the cream in the middle. Oh, yeah. And then we had a donut shop and they had, okay, I'm going to give you a blast from your past. So it's a real flaky crust. It's long and spirally, spirally. And it's got cream in the middle, like a, I don't know, some white cream. You know what I'm talking about? They were fresh made that day, and I would eat at least three or four when I was little because I love those. Love those tools with hands moving. Those tools is what we need to go back to. Oh, yeah. No kidding. I was telling Rick my dad had that drill, and there was something else he had on there. Oh, and a screwdriver. All, he had all those things, and I he had them hung up in order on the wall. And if you took it down, you better make sure it got put back on that hook. So it's okay. No problem, Adrian. You go ahead. Uh, but they, wow. So when I go into the antique stores, I always look for uh, hand-operated um, tools and I got Kevin one that's it, it's a screwdriver and you just crank it and yeah so I do I love it Tammy okay hey on the island at my wild home worked on a flag design entry today don't think it's a winner but 100% will win with when your smiles oh Mickey so cool no, I I don't grow eucalyptus. Did I read that already? There's a vineyard chicks. I'm doing good, honey. How you doing, darling? Oh, sure enough, now my daughter, is she in here? Oh, I mean, Loose Faucet's mama and daughter is in here. I'll tell her you stopped by, Funky. <laughs> my Tasmania is in the house. Hi. Hi again. Great to see you. We're just chit-chatting. We've been all over the page. We've been everywhere. <clears throat> I think I'm going to plant some more herbs, though. Um, I'm in a collaboration with Gail Southern Living, and she does weird container gardening. And I have my two weird containers. And so I have to do my video on that. Mountain Grandma says it's the truest level you can get. Yeah, that's what Kevin said. He he believes that. I know I'm behind. I'm trying. I'm becoming like everyone else. There's Glenda at Grace and Fire. Hi. <clears throat> Patty, the tinker's wife. Okay, I'm catching up, Brenda. Brenda's yelling at me. <laughs> we'll be finished tomorrow, my world home. Don't expect to be in the running ball. I'm loving doing it. Oh, Eunice Henderson. There's our sister. She's got the same name as we do. She must be Scottish. Oh, see, if I would not hit that stupid. Could be, could be anything, really. Well, it's true, but it's a Henderson. There's Ginger. You're not late, girl. You know, oh, 250 gift card. That's awesome. Everyone go check out Wild Home. They're having a contest over there thanks mr cabin master king crap <laughs> I'll have a look. heather's listening heather did a cool uh 
it's like a door with screen on it and you plant things in it and yeah there's 1117 peace dragon a uh, jan and hubby yep he had to go water the plants and let the dogs out just saying <laughs> There's the Brutus. <laughs> Brutus is so sweet sometimes. <laughs> he rolled in something. They both rolled in something dead and they it don't smell. It doesn't smell. It doesn't, yeah, you, know, you can just see it on them, you know. He go he uh, thought uh, Lily rolled in the grass. I thought like, no, it looked kind of greenish, like it was green grass stain. Probably guts. <laughs> I don't know. All over her tuxedo. Yep. You know, all her white. It's just like got green on it. And he's got nastiness on him too, but it doesn't stink. So cool. You make lotion. Oh, Glenda makes lotion. So I don't know what they got into. But... We don't know. We don't know. Who knows? They're dogs. We've had a bunch of vultures or hawks. Well, in, uh, in the pond pasture and I went out there like Toby was standing you know next to one our donkey and he's like you know trying to get it out of there and the, I think it was a hawk but no I think it was a vulture because the wings were too big it was it was huge and so they're having this standoff and then uh Toby just he just sort of charged at it and it took off and flew into the tree. And I looked out there, I could not find what it was. No idea. So there, but there, there's something there they like. Yeah. Well, you know, then we got hawks, you know, flying around all the time too. So yeah, then we have hawks, but they never do anything too. Well, we have Lily and Brutus here. So they, as soon as they see a bird, they're out in the pasture chasing it down. Yeah. They're running around looking up. I'm just trying saying, to I dare you to land there, uh, bird. Yeah, but yeah, so because our chicken's free range, so gingerbread girl. <laughs> yeah, so we get a little nervous if we see the hawks. Happy birthday to you, Dave. <laughs> That's all you get. Happy birthday to you. Oh, I lied. You can't start it and not finish it. Happy birthday. First, my wild home. All we really appreciate that Mickey at Creator Creek. We love that you're on our journey with us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Raw asparagus. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yum. There. Mickey makes some great stuff. Well, blow him a kiss, Linda. Blow Dave a kiss. I'm reading the chat. Huckleberry, Huckleberry Cook, Cook, Cookie 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 Cookie. Cookie. Oh, never had that. We got some blueberry coffee in, in there. We made one batch. We made we brewed one pot of it and didn't really care for it. Not crazy about it. Charlene Grady, you're not late, girl. You're right on time. Yeah. There's Victoria G. Hi. My my seeds still haven't come up, Charlene. I think I'm gonna plant them in the ground. There's Randy at the Jacobs Triangle. Woo woo. Randy's in the But house. to be fair with the blueberry, I mean, maybe it's just not a good, that's not the, the good brand. Uh, the, maybe without hazelnut. Because we drink hazelnut creamer. Maybe if we just use regular creamer, it would be maybe okay. Maybe we drink it black. Or black, yeah. But with the hazelnut, it was pretty nasty. So... But but I, I, gotta, I didn't throw it away, man. I ain't throwing it away. Well, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll drink it. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, Brussels cooked with bacon. Oh, yeah. You know you're talking my language, girlfriend. Oh, don't forget Ramlin with the broom. He comes next. And after that, making it home wraps up shenanigan Fridays. So just saying. Just saying. And I promise, Lauren, I'm not calling in this time so everyone can hear my rooster ringtone. And I could not find any. Uh, oh, now and later. Yeah, I like those too. I, I could not find any cool ringtones for my phone. They actually all stunk. So 
I don't know. You're killing me in the fields, Smalls. <laughs> you used to like Charleston Chews. I love Charleston Chews. It's it's got the taffy stuff in it or imitation stuff. I'd like to make it myself. Yeah. I like Brussels sprouts. Remember how you made them Brussels sprouts before with the uh, maple syrup and the salt? You see his t-shirt? Show his t-shirt. We both have them. Critter Creek. Yep, that's the same thing. Ranch and Rescue. And we're, we're, we're representing the Gillums and Critter Creek because they're part of the, the 10 Killer YouTube meetup. So we both decided we'd represent tonight. Yeah, the... Yeah. the Remember the Brussels sprouts with the maple syrup and the salt? Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. That's really good. Make them that way. Oh, yeah. So In good. In the oven. Yeah, they're great. Mm -hmm. Where did you learn? Did you get that from Doug and Stacy? No, I just did it. Oh, cream sure? puffs. Yes, that's what they were, Debbie. Cream puffs. Oh, and eclairs. That's my other favorite donut. I don't oh, yeah, care like for donuts puffs. much, but um, <laughs> I know. Uh, I know. I, like I know. I'm sorry, Melody. <laughs> you gotta have jelly fill. You gotta have something in it. Oh, uh, I'm not big on donuts either. I, 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 mean, I love, like them. Don't get me wrong, but it's like eclairs. not like oh, like if I was a cop, cream I'd, horns. Yeah. If I was a cop, I'd be like, "What's the big deal about all this? You know, donuts all the time. Why do we gotta eat donuts all the time? <laughs> <laughs> well, they give them free with their coffee. They do. Well, Dunkin' Donuts, they do. They give it to them free. Yeah. Yeah. They, they serve our peoples. They work hard. I have a lot of hand tools from my grandmother that I still use. I wish my brother got all those. There's Tish. No judgment here with Tish Ross. I, my brother got his tools and then he passed them down to my nephew, which rightfully oh. so. But I, I was like, man, I wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. And I I don't know if Ken still has them or not. I hope he does. I hope he has never gotten rid of them. There's Ed at Whistletop. How you doing, brother? Hope you're having a great day. Okay, let's see. Am I still far behind? I'm trying to get to the bottom. There's my Renaissance grandma. Hello, dear. How are you? We got 54 people here. That's amazing. That's awesome. I I have to keep up because I don't want Brenda yelling at me again. <laughs> There's Beth. Yay. We get to see Beth next What's month. What's up, Beth? And Jason. So excited. The Moran experience. Hi, How you doing? Maiden name Perry. Well, he he's the Henderson. So, yeah, my maiden name is Ricketts. Yeah. Like the disease. Shut up. <laughs> I had to live with that all my life. And I have two T's in my name, not one. I think Just the disease has two T's. Big family expedition. How you doing? Yeah, don't even get me going. I. <laughs> that's why I am who I am because, yeah, there's Tiny Farm Nuggets. That's Brett. I love too. saying that when she says my main name's <laughs> Rick. It's always say like the disease. You got the disease. I'm like, uh, no. Do I look like it? No, I just say like the disease. Whatever. You, I don't say you, do you have it. Silly man. Silly like, man. Everybody's heard of rickets, the disease. Yeah. That's a vitamin D deficiency. Do mm -hmm. I look like I have a vitamin D deficiency? You don't drink very much milk. Well, I compensate in other ways. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I make lotion trying to I get ready for Mother's Day. It. They need to sit and let the smell marinate for a bit. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, uh, Glenda, are you and Sir Grace coming to the meetup in Oklahoma? Are you going to make it? There's Natasha Lynn. How you doing? Have a goose or two with the chickens. That will take care of the hawks. Oh, uh, I ain't getting no goose. Geese no. Are, did I tell you about it? Speaking of geese, we, so like on Easter Sunday, I hear we, you, Troy. we were going to eat. And we had a little time to kill, so we popped over to this pond that I've wanted to fish for a while. We had fishing rods with us. And there was this goose there that was all by his lonesome. Hey, Vance. And he kept harassing us. 
on the pond. Well, he was sort of charging us. He, yeah. he stood and he stood he there. He was charging us. But if we moved, he if we would, turned our back on him. Yeah. If you turned your back on him, he'd come after you. And Until you turned around. I had to smack him with fishing rod. Once. Yeah, I once. I had to smack him. Once. I didn't smack him hard. I just like tapped him pretty good. So we missed you looking for a But yeah. He was pretty aggressive. Like so yeah. Aggressive. Put him with the chickens. Yeah, I could I could understand hawks would stay away. Mm -hmm. I think peacocks will do that too, won't they? Won't they kind of protect mm -hmm. the, the flock too? Cream brulee coffee from all day. Oh, never tried that. Cream brulee coffee from Aldi. I, I would say just if you have blueberry coffee, it's probably okay. And we should try it, to be fair. I, I like the, the flavor was very mild, almost like the elderberry iced tea I made. It, it was refreshing. But, yeah, but we, then I put that, uh, I had that creamer in it. Let me just tell you, blueberry and hazelnut do not go together. No, it, yeah. Mm -mm. No. So Tiny Farm Nuggets is... We have maple bacon coffee and horchata. Butt nuggets. Okay. Hor hor oh, it's... Horchata? You mean like the Mexican drink? I don't know. Horchata coffee. Hi. Horcha I love horchata. Hi, JB. Love you. Wait, okay, I got to get to the bottom of the chat because somehow I went over my hour. Yeah, and we got to go... We got to get out of here. Some of the luck of the town is going to tell everyone it's my birthday. You're so funny. Anyway, y'all, be blessed and love well. And there's Gail. She's yeah, we got to get out of here. In. Crap, I didn't realize it was. I don't know. We're just chatting away, not paying attention. So, okay, we're going to go over to Scott's Live. And we'll see you next week. Y'all be blessed. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye now. Say yeah, bye now. Bye. Yeah, bye yeah, you got to say bye now. Bye now. Yeah, yeah. That kind of came up on us quick. It did. <laughs>